Hi, I'm Diva from Musical Hell, and I know the score. I don't play a wide range of video games, but among those I do play, the Diablo series is one of my favorites. It's got a great dark fantasy setting, an extensive replay factor, and the concept is so beautifully simple. Find bad guys, hit them until they die, get loot, repeat. And inevitably, after endless trips into Sanctuary, the series soundtrack has come to feel like an old friend. So, in honor of Diablo 3's new expansion, Reaper of Souls, I'm taking a look at the music behind this wonderfully atmospheric and highly addictive group of games. The soundtracks for Diablo and Diablo 2 were composed by Matt Ullman, while Diablo 3 was handled by a team headed by Russell Brower. But a noticeable style runs throughout the entire series. Minor keys, Wagnerian dramatic chords, insistent percussion, and eerie, unpredictable accents run through the scores, creating an aura of tension, perpetual darkness, and danger that complements the evil-ravaged landscapes the player travels through. most distinctive themes in the series is Tristram, named after the town destroyed by demonic forces in the first Diablo and whose ruins are revisited in the second and third games. Besides being memorably eerie, the music hints at one of the overarching themes in Diablo, the corrupting influence of evil. The warm timbre of the folk guitar which provides the focus of the theme is twisted by the minor chords, the unsettling echo, and the subtle, disturbing horn continuo, providing both a sense of what this place was and how far it has fallen from grace. of corruption is also present in one of my favorite tracks from the series, Diablo II's Harem. The sitar riffs and female vocals immediately evoke the exotic nature of the titular setting, but the percussion maintains a sense of urgency and tension, a constant reminder of the unholy terrors that have intruded on this elegant realm. center of Diablo is the eternal conflict between heaven and hell, and that, naturally, is reflected in the score. On the side of the light, there's I Am Justice, a theme for Tyriel, the primary archangel character in the series. It's a majestic celestial chorus underscored by a martial snare drum, giving a sense of both beauty and power. The might and horror of Hell is best represented by the theme for Asmodan, the Lord of Sin and one of the act bosses in Diablo 3. The hair-raising reversed violin leads into an imposing, inexorable series of chords as big and dread-inducing as the character they're written for. <laughs> Inevitably, the two styles come together, and once again the theme of corruption becomes apparent, which is fitting as the final act of Diablo 3 focuses on Diablo's assault on the High Heavens. 
The dissonances of the hell motifs almost steamroll over the celestial chorus, the profane flagrantly trespassing on the sacred. Angel Malthael showing up as the antagonist for Reaper of Souls, it's obvious this sense of encroaching darkness will continue. And that's okay, because the nightmarish depiction of evil and the fight to keep it at bay is one of Diablo's strongest selling points. And you know, blasting the heads off Goatman isn't so bad either. I'm Diva, I know the score, and now, so do you.